Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, it only take you a second, it'd be much appreciated. Now what I want to talk to you about today is how to create a custom frame in Canva. We'll be using a couple of other apps as well, but all free. Well, the first thing we do is we go to Canva and we set up a frame. Now I'm going for quite a big um, a canvas, I should say. I'm going for a, quite a big size and it's important to do that. I've got 2000 by 2000 here in pixels. It's important to pick a good size, a big size, because we're going to be cutting the image out. And when we do that, we don't want jagged edges. We want it as smooth as possible around the edge. Right, so 2000 by 2000, create a new image. Now you could use elements. You could pick, for instance, something like that. Try to make that into, well, actually make that into a, uh, a frame, a different background in there. And we can do that because we've got an option to change the colors here. Without that option, it's a little difficult. Look for images like that where you can actually change the colors all to black. It's important that we have black. So it's a silhouette we're looking at. Now I'm going for an image of me. So there's the shape, whatever shape that is, and I'll just stretch that about a bit and center it on here. Now I want to turn that into a silhouette. Now I can do that in here because it's an image and I can edit and it's allowing me to change the brightness and the contrast. And that's great. So the brightness goes right down, the contrast goes right up and there's my silhouette. What we do then is we download and we download and we just download it as a PNG. We don't use the transparent backgrounds or anything, so we don't need to have the premium account for that. So we download and we save that in a file or we can save it as a tab. And we're going to drag that image in a minute into another application. The application we're going to use here is called Photo P. That's Photo P, one word, dot com. Or you'll find a link in the description for all of these applications that I'm using. We're going to start a new project. We've got here where the sizes are. We're going to go with 2000 because that's what I've set the other one up on Canva. We want a white background, which it shows there. And we just hit that create button. And I'm going to drag that image that I've just downloaded onto Photo P. Now what we want to do, we want to hit the control key on the keyboard and the E letter at the same time. Now what that's done is that's called that now the background here. That's a layer. Now, if you go up to here where it says tolerance, I try to set that at about 200, somewhere around that. I mean, I've got it at 202 there, but try and get it around 200, 150 to 200. Now, what that means is when we go here now to magic wand and we click the image, what's happened is if I can zoom in a little bit, what you see is a little marching ant type thing. It's a little cutout little dotted lines all the way around the image and that's the way it seems to work on this application and we want that as tight as we can so that's why I suggest you doing that now then if I come back out a little bit we press the delete on the keyboard the delete key now that's removed me from that image now from there we go to file export as PNG and just click save don't mess with any other things on there and it's just come down here to the bottom of the screen and it's also gone into downloads this is just asking that uh, is because i've got ad, ad blocker on but i'm still getting the ads and it's just saying that's how they make their money which is fair enough right we go back to canva and i remove the image from here the silhouette on the 2000 by 2000 background and i drag that image that we just downloaded from Photo P onto the canvas. You hardly see anything, do you? But if I zoom in, you can just basically see, you just might be able to see the outlines. Now what we do from there is, we can use anything in the background. So if I go to Photos, for example, um, I could put in, well, whatever's come up there, I'll just go with that. Just click on it, and now it's covered the image that we've got in the background here. So I right click on the mouse, center back, and as you can see there straight away, I can move that across, drag the corner so make sure I'm in the image, drag that background image down so it hides behind the white bit, 
and up so it hides behind that bit now I've just got myself a quite a flowery shirt going on there but I'm actually using this image of a frame center back and I can drag that background image until I've got it how I want it I can extend my image to cover that okay so that's that that's the background I'm going to keep I'm not having the pink thing so what do we do with this well if you've got the full version of Canva you can just click on that edit the image remove the background and download and so on and store it but if you haven't we're using the free stuff at the moment what we do is I download this again just keep it as a PNG don't worry about transparent background just download and it's gone down here to the bottom it's also going down down into the downloads now I'll use another application this one's called photoroom.com and I'll leave a link like I say for this in uh, the description you'll also find it under stephenpeel.uk forward slash photo room now like I say with all these apps I don't make anything on these I'm not affiliated to them in any way and you know that by now it opens up straight away like this there's no signing in involved or anything at this point you can accept the cookies if you wish I can drag now that photograph that we've just downloaded by holding the left mouse down on it and dropping it in now there it is without the background I can just download and there's the image now I can just save that in a file and that's it it's as simple as that well if you go over it once or twice on here um, so yeah you know if you want to make custom you can use words you can use you can write type something and create uh, something in your own fonts you can um, use images like I've just done of myself there uh, which I'm using on the um, thumbnail image for this video and yeah it, it's uh, super easy so give it a go